in sync. I'm building it up like a So, Bill and I started playing together like nine or ten years ago. We just kind of kept playing from there and we met these guys through mutual friends. And we were using like a different rhythm section in every show. And then we just like decided to make it a full time thing. A lot of songs, mostly all of them, really, I mean, they're all written by Peyton. I feel like a lot of the times it's kind of just based off his own life experiences. Our time of life connects best with college students, um, but we've also found that we connect a little bit with the older crowd as well, probably because we kind of grew up listening to older music and that kind of makes its way into our music as well. For this record, it was a lot of me just like sitting at my computer and making these demos. I actually wrote most of this record before these guys were in the band and, and really before we all were like, okay, this is gonna be it, like we are the band. A lot of the songs on this record were about like not sitting back and just kind of waiting on things to happen anymore because um, I had kind of seen from my own experience that like doing that, waiting on other people to do things and all that was making me more and more impatient and just kind of led to a lot of disappointment in a lot of ways. So just like taking the time to buckle down, learn new things and like commit to these new songs and just put everything that's in my head onto these demos and into these demos and bring them to, the, to these guys and record it. I think the whole theme of the album could be summed up in like this one song that's called Active Aggression, which is like the, the opposite of passive aggression. So like just doing something about it, you know, doing something about the way that you feel or the things that you want to change. Who you're surrounded by can really influence what you're working on and your art and your creativity. And it's got a completely different vibe too. Like that version of the song is is upbeat, almost like more of a pop rock. Um, like Jackson Five. Or yeah, it's, it's got like sort of this bouncy rhythm to it. So the first single we released in April was called Blind. That's the first single off of our upcoming full length. The first first full length that we will release. Like all of our songs, it's like gone through a lot of changes since we first wrote it. But um, now we're like at a point where we're settled with it and, and we released it. One of our biggest like goals is just to get on um, get on a bigger tour than, than we've ever been on as a support act. Just being able to get in front of a bigger audience um, would be very helpful to us. But we wanted to feel live and not, you know, overdub so much that you know, something you can't replicate in a live setting, which is what we really want to, you know, bring across in our recorded music is that, like, this is what you can get if you come to a show at Harvard Home Tours. Like, what you hear here is what we can I think we we had kind of for a while wanted to just be like a rock and roll band, um, even when we were in other bands. So I think this and all this entire album is a good reflection of that. Just us like finally being true to ourselves and just letting it happen.